All right, we should be live. I, I, I don't know for sure. It's a little weird. Oh, I think so. All right. Hey, everyone watching live. Uh, let us know how the sound is. We are outside. So uh, I didn't bring windscreens for the mics. Uh, so we're going to go inside the store in a minute. But we are here at JJ's Cards and Collectibles in Waterloo, Ontario. Uh, for those that don't know, Waterloo, Ontario is the birthplace of the BlackBerry uh, cell phone. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, but yeah, we're here in Waterloo, Ontario uh, at a friendly local game store using local kind of loosely because uh, we did have to drive a little bit to get here. But let's just, uh, let's see if yeah, I... Yeah, we should be good. Are we, I want to see the chat though. Yeah. I need to see chat. So this is kind of like, a, we're testing this out. Uh, we're going to do a walkthrough of this board game store. This board game store is a little nuts. So I'll give you a little, little history on our, our experience here and whatnot. But uh, let me just... Oh, well, Scott says sound is good. Sounds good. Yeah, there's cars, like lots of cars and wind and stuff. But when we get inside, it should be a lot better too. So hopefully it's like you can hear us decent uh, that we hear. But I figure I want to show the front of the store because as you can see behind us, it's like a blue castle. It definitely sticks out when you drive by. I remember the first time I drove by and saw it, I like instantly did a UE on the road because I saw board games on a sign of a blue castle. So I had to go there. Unfortunately, it was closed when I was here the very first time a few years back. Um, Pre-COVID pre times. Um, okay, hold on. I got I got the chat now. Hold on. Yes, it is a field trip. Exactly. We've yes. left the basement. So Mel's, Mel's <laughs> off work today. Uh, so it was kind of a last minute thing. I reached out to the store, uh, emailed them and said, hey, like, what's your policy on streaming there? And they were like, yeah, come on in. Like, uh, yeah, come and film, stream, whatever. So we figured like, Instead of just ordering online, as we may have done for a place that's this far away from home, we had to drive like about an hour and a half this morning due to traffic and stuff. Uh, but we have been here before. And anyone who's been watching the channel for any length of time who's watched our Gloomhaven playthroughs, Jaws of the Lion, uh, this is actually Justin's uh, local game store. I don't think anymore, I think he moved recently, uh, but for many years. Many years, Justin lived just around the corner from this store. Uh, so this is the store I would go to and stop in if it was open. Uh, when visiting Justin or whatever. Uh, so we, we went here once before, uh, not too long ago actually. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but basically, earlier this week uh, on stream, I was streaming Dungeons, Dice, and Danger. First ever time playing a roll and write on stream. People seem to like it. Uh, there were some suggestions of games that I should be trying next in the roll and write genre, which normally we play heavier board games on the channel. You guys know that. The Gloomhavens, the Tainted Grails, the, you know, all, all this crazy stuff. I don't know, a whole bunch of things. Um, but yeah, usually the more more bigger games. Um, but somebody mentioned, if you want big games and roll and write, it, it's Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall is a game you should play. I never heard of it before, we looked it up. And then people started throwing super chats saying, Rob, go buy Hadrian's Wall, you have to play it. Um, so I looked it up online. It wasn't available locally to me. I could have ordered it online. But I noticed one of the stores that had it was J and J's collectible cards and collectibles, and I thought, huh, you know what? That store is super cool. Uh, my mind was blown every time I've come here and I've seen the floor to ceiling, multiple aisles of thousands of board games. I was like, man, I want to show this store off. It's like really cool how many board games they have. Like the selection is nuts. You can order online. Like I easily could have just went online, ordered the game, and shipped it. Um, but obviously, I don't care about the environment, so I decided to drive here. I'm um, just kidding. No, we wanted to get out of the house. Yeah, we wanted to get out of the house and I thought, you know what, if they'll let us film there, we'll go there and we'll bring the live audience with us to show this store off. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I've ever been in a board game store that had this kind of selection. No, like, I've never. Like, I've been in board game stores that are bigger, but usually it's bigger because it has more play space or whatever, you know, or like multiple floors in a basement where there's war gaming and stuff. This store is pure like sales. It's just like, you know, hobby miniatures, card games, uh, Lego, puzzles, board games, comics, like everything. It's like a hobby store of my dreams, kind of, minus the play space. I don't think there's a play space in there, not that I've seen or noticed. Uh, it's basically just sales, like online and local. Uh, but anyone who doesn't know Waterloo, it's like a university town. There's two universities here. There's the University of Waterloo and Laurier University. So uh, it's also known as the Twin Cities. There's a city, Kitchener and Waterloo that are both like kind of twin cities, similar to like the St. Paul, Minneapolis kind of idea in, in the US that, that we visited before. But um, it's like that, but it's basically a university town. So there's tons of board game cafes here, board game bars, pubs, 
uh, you know, that sell board games and there's like miniature wargaming stores, board game stores. If you look up the area, there's a whole bunch of tabletop gaming centered stores. But this one, out of all the ones I visited, like the amount of board games, like new, old, hard to find, it's nuts. It's nuts. So when I reached out to the store owner, I said, hey, a any facts about your store that I could tell my audience when we were there live? And basically, they've been open since how long, Mel? 1991. So 32 years they've been in business. Yep. And how many unique board games uh, did they say they have at any one time? They said they have over 3,000 unique titles. 3,000 unique board games plus more. Like they get yep. new games all the time. Like they're always expanding. Like it, it's there's never an empty shelf. It's crazy. So we're going to take you in there. We're going to go around. But I'm literally here just to get one game. Um, well, but, we say that now. Yeah, yeah. But we always say that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm saying we're getting one game. Um, but the problem is I brought Mel and the chat and my daughter. So it depends how much we can carry uh, or about. I'm trying not to buy more games. We have lots of orders, lots of games coming, Kickstarter showing up. The backlog is crazy on the channel. But you guys wanted me to get Hadrian's Wall. You threw Super Chats. You basically paid for the game. So I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to drive out here, spend a day. We're going to come visit the store, take you guys along. So hopefully the stream stays up while we're in there. I tested the wife or the uh, cell connection while we're in there um, to see how streaming on our cell network is to kind of test and prepare for conventions and stuff too. So doing this kind of live instead of like a recording, a vlog thing, we'll do that if the Wi-Fi drops out here shortly. But we're outside right now, things are all good. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did test in the store, it seemed like the speeds are all good, so we should be okay. I just really quickly want to give a shout out to Monica who says, this is a store that got me into the hobby. No freaking so way. So that's awesome. Oh, Love Monica, that. I see you. Hey, Monica, hey. <laughs> I see you. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, oh no, you're not there. Okay, that's, the, oh, sorry. Sorry, I thought you were, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, Rob is much taller than me. They say that we look yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on, on camera, but no, yeah. Rob is much taller than when me in sitting, real life. Yeah, when yeah. we're sitting down, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll stand up and stop slouching. Yeah, he's yeah, much yeah. taller than me. <laughs> I'm not, my chat's not like refreshing, right? Oh, I got, I got full chat. This Thank you to before. everybody that's here watching live with us. If you like these kind of videos, hit that like button, oh, let us know. I know why. Do I not have like the all chat on and just oh. like the highlighted chat crap? Yeah. Top Holy messages. Mindy, can't see. Yeah, I want the whole chat. Yeah, there I we go. Got I got the whole chat. So it's, oh, I see. It, YouTube must be doing the right job in hiding Dan Roberts and Brian S from my chat feed. That's good. But it also hit Tara, which is wrong. So <laughs> I'm just going to turn off the top messages filter. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah, Tara's right. It says one game. Mm, I think not. No. Yeah, that's I what I said. We a joke. say that. Yeah, we say that going in. But you know, but that's you go into a store like this and there's so many titles, you're like, oh, I didn't even know I needed or wanted that that's game until I time. see it. Yeah. This was the store. If you guys are paying attention to the channel one time, uh, I don't know if we mentioned we had them or what, but we came here and grabbed like Undaunted. After Gen Con, we couldn't get Undaunted. Sold out at Gen Con and we were here shortly after that with Justin. Uh, so we grabbed like Undaunted, like Sniper Elite and something else. I, I forget. But we only came here just to check out the store because we were with Justin and we were dropping him off. And we're like, let's just dip in the store for a sec. And yeah, it turned into like an hour in the store and then we left with like three to five games or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nuts. So it is a mini castle. Yes, that's yeah. why. That's why I wanted to film outside. So you can see it behind us. It is a castle. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around. There you go. So as you can see here, this is a store and I'll walk you guys in. But yeah, it's just cool. Like it definitely catches your eye from the road. It definitely, uh, you know, feels like we might be going to medieval times for uh, for some dinner and a tournament, but it's not. It's a it's a hobby store. So as the sign says, they got hobbies, comics, games, and cards. Yeah, 31, 32 years they've been around. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out, I guess. So there's the hours. There's the hours. Okay. Oh, they sell dragon shields. FYI. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. But yeah, they sell so much stuff. So we're gonna walk you guys around. Let us know if you see anything good. It's a uh, pretty cold pandemic. <laughs> yeah, if like you come in, there's already games like all over the place. Uh, it's Waterloo, Ontario, Jack. Waterloo, Ontario. Yeah, the link to the website's in the video description. 
on some information about the store and their like Instagram and Facebook and stuff. You guys want to check them out online. But uh, here's some Playmobil, which is some toys my younger brothers and sisters had when we were younger. So yeah, this is just toys and stuff, not the aisles I'm familiar with too much. Since my daughter's a little older now, but if I if I knew about this store a few years ago, yeah, um, yeah, she would have had a bigger toy collection, I think. But you have to show like all the way to the ceiling. Oh, I will. Oh, okay. But again, we we got a board game audience, right? So when I get into those aisles, okay. I know, I know. So here we go. Let's do a floor to ceiling. Floor to ceiling. Okay. Yellow paint, painted floor. So we're like on the yellow floors to the board games yellow yellow brick road okay okay here you go look at look at how high the ceiling goes and like literally there's product like you know i can't even reach <laughs> you're just like surrounded and the board game miles are the same way it's just like floor to ceiling and i mean like high ceiling like you're in like a mini Costco of, of <laughs> gaming and hobbies, if that makes sense. Which is like blew my mind when I was here before. There's a lot of people saying they're jealous. They don't have stores like this in their areas. Well, we technically don't either. We had to drive pretty far to come here, but I thought it's like a special thing. I wanted to show you guys because maybe some other board game retailers see this and like, you know, get some ideas and just the craziness. But yeah, they have sports cards and like, here we are, the Lego, like tons of Lego sets. And I'm sure some that you can't find other places that are more popular, like more focused on Lego, you know? That's crazy. Crazy. Oh, well, Michael's asking when we see some Candyland on the channel. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what edition. We have to go and see if we can find it. Yeah, we'll see what editions they have. I'm not going to say that we maybe haven't already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> Anyone who knows, we've already streamed Candy Lynn on the channel. Yeah, come on now. But that was a special thing. This for... is a serious board game channel. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're hardcore board games. Yeah. You, you won't be able to find that playthrough by searching, but it's still on the channel. It's there. It's hidden. Not too hidden, but it's hidden. Oh, man. Okay, I changed my oh, mind. Wow. Uh, as of now, we're changing to a Lego channel, and I'm going to get that one, and I'm going to get that one. And I'm going to get that one. And then I'm going to call my bank for a loan and I'm going to get that one. <laughs> what about these ones up here? Man, these are awesome. No. Oh, Bowser. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. How does that look? Can you guys see that all good up there? It's kind of dark over here, but... And how do you... How do you can you guys hear me? Just talking at like kind of... Oh, yeah. Normal. I guess, I guess they, they, are, they are not saying they can't hear okay, us. Okay, good, good. Yeah, because we're indoors now. I'm talking at like normal kind of indoor voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Just basically building anticipation. Yeah, Rob's we can't, Lego we can't table. go right to the board games <laughs> yeah. right away. Tune into our sister channel, Rob's Lego Table, which now takes up the former board game tables, so I can no longer t play board games because I'm building, you know, five thousand piece Legos for the next, uh, you know, six months. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we are, board games. All right. Okay. Here oh, we go. What are these fun things? Hey, hold on, Mel. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm just joking. Here, hold up stuff. Show the camera. Yeah, like what I'll are these? I'll just run the camera. Murder mystery parties. They're probably, I, if we never heard of them, they're just probably one of the many thousands of murder Eight mystery Eight adult game. players. Eight, well, we don't have any adults in our gaming group. Oh, uh, that is We're true. We're all children in Everyone's adult bodies. Everyone's a suspect when murder's on the menu. Oh, those are cool. Those are fun if you have just like a little intimate yeah. party. Yeah, look at all the exit games. They have like all their escape room and, and games all here. Oh, man, hold on. The secret games are up there. Monopoly. Look at all the Monopolies. Clue. They put it with Clue, yeah. The Murder Mysteries with Clue. Oh, Matthew says, I have five of those Murder Mystery Party games. Matthew, how are they? Are they fun? I didn't look at the price, actually. Yeah, these are the ones he's talking about. Where are they by? They university are... Games? Yep. Oh, I told 20... you we're in University Town. Twenty-four ninety-nine Canadian. Okay. Matthew, let me know, please. I love these type of Be games. Be honest, Matthew. Pret yeah. Pretend you're like no filter. Oh, some like of me. them are, uh, some of them are six to eight, where some of them just say. That's the problem. Post COVID, having that many people come over to play a game. Yeah, this just rough. says eight players. So maybe you could have less than, like, if we had like a group of four, like two couples or something. That would be a fun night. Oh yeah, we do have this. We grabbed this at Gen Con last year. We still need to play this. Oh yes. Exit Lord of the Rings. Ooh. Then of course we have the unlock games right underneath. Of course. Look at these are like the big box unlocks. 
Oh, they Harmonize don't even says, sell them small anymore. <clears throat> Harmonize says, whoa, JJ's my favorite local place. Uh -oh. I should drive there now and meet you. Ha -ha. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we uh -oh, got to go, let's guys. Let's end the stream. Just kidding. Just <laughs> let's kidding. Let's run. Because you know what will happen? He'll show up and start telling us what games are awesome and then forcing us to buy them with peer pressure. Like I'm doing to you guys right now. <laughs> just kidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just one shelf. We're going to be here for like four hours if we're going this slow. But uh, I, I'm not even at the best part yet. The part that like blew my mind. Okay. This is why this one, is one, kind of... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish shelves high. But like obviously uh... the ceiling is like huge. But this is the kind of story. Like that, I can like... only reach stuff that's like, like I don't know, a few shelves up. Like, like I'm six four and and I can't reach. Like on your TV shows. Yeah. yeah like I can reach this stuff, but here I'm gonna go back and just show like, for scale. Mel standing like in the aisle, like that's the shelf I was standing beside. Like, oh, I crazy. can't even reach as high as you did. Yeah, I know. Show Mel, reach for something. Yeah, that's like kind of the shelf I was touching, but and like she can't reach it. there's like a whole other person and a half above. Crazy, me. crazy, crazy. Oh, I see some cool stuff behind you though. Oh, look at this damaged box stuff, man. I love that kind of stuff. If you don't care about it, you save money. It was like fifteen dollars off worth the ring. And again, they have a website linked down below. I'm not being paid to say that or anything, but it is a cool store. So you can order online. They do ship to the U.S. for sure and anywhere in Canada. You can check the shipping rates on the website. But I think all this stuff's on the website. So if there's any game here you see in the background, you're like, oh, man, I haven't found that game forever. It's been, like, out of print. You know, you could probably order it online. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, I feel like this is like kind of clearance uh, and sale stuff. Yeah, it does look like they all say sale. Oh, yeah, it does say up here, clearance. So there's a dude. Oh, this, oh, okay. Hold on. My daughter has pointed out something. It's like, we are in the clearance section. I do love, too, this store, everything is labeled. Yeah. All the sections are labeled, so yeah, you know. Yeah, like prices are right on the front of the boxes. Yeah, we'll get to new releases. That's what they really want to see. So there's some sales. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We have that. Mm -hmm. Like Rolling Realms, that's another one right I own, but I've not got to yet. Oh, it's a double sale, like the sale. Well, no, that's the in... former price. Oh, I thought the I thought it's marked down from like seventeen ninety nine on sale to twelve ninety nine. Oh, I thought that's. And guys, remember this is Canadian dollars, so this is really thirty five cents American on sale for twenty five cents American. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not that bad uh, of exchange rate, but it is pretty bad. Oh, they're trying to clear out Assassin's Creed. I feel like that was a game someone was telling me I need to look at, but maybe that's a different Assassin's Creed. Who knows? These IP games. Yeah. Oh, they got the micro macros. I like those, man. They're fun. Oh, they're fun, they're family yeah. Games. There's the Quacks. The Quacks games. Parks. That just reminds me of Gen Con last year. Janet and Kanji playing oh, yes. that one. And then, like, Kanji going and buying it instantly. Peer pressure. King Domino, Villainous games. I played some Star Wars Villainous before. I'm sure there's going to be 15 expansions for that coming out soon. Yeah, that's the only Villainous that we've played. Yeah. Oh, Goofy. Goofy the movie game, guys. Right. That's the one. Oh, there's Jaws. Oh, we did want to get that. Yeah, there's all the Ravensburger games. Whoop. Sorry. Oh yeah. All right. This is all fun. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. It goes closer. <sighs> Trying to get out of the way of people here. Oh, here's the big so box this, stuff. This is new releases, so this is oh, what. This is. Yep. This is what is people want to see. They're telling us. Yep. Oh yeah, new releases. <laughs> oh sean says uh don't accidentally buy that dune game oh is that bad <laughs> staff here is grateful harmonize that's cool that's cool yeah, that's crazy man crazy. oh look at all the dungeon dice and danger up there that's the reason i'm here yeah there's like all, all of their stuff here 
Chronicles of mm-hmm. Druganor, Tinny Grail. I recognize Jurassic World, Legacy, Frostpunk, Binding of Isaac. Can you guys see the games? Like if I hold it like that close, can you read? Can you see? I don't know. I'm looking at a super tiny screen, so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to move slow so it's not like blurring out on you guys. We also need you guys to give us suggestions if there's things that we need to pick up. Yeah, yeah. And let us know. Any recommendations? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I know people recommended that 3,000 scoundrels before. Oh, yeah, I think we looked into it before. I don't remember what. Our I remember they were demoing that Gen Con last year. All right, let's go down this aisle here. Yeah, we can go down this one. Okay, here, let's shot from here. Okay, this is like, see this aisle? Crazy, look at all the signs. So on the right here, there's like sci-fi fantasy. And then it goes Euro, card games, war games, horror games, co-op, two player, all the way back down there. This aisle is huge. And then on the left here, we got classics, educational, kids, card, word, party, 18 plus games. Abstract, chess, parlor. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, I don't know if it's capturing like how tall this is and like how many games are here. But do you see see why it says there's like 3,000 unique titles plus? And they're like all in like two aisles. (laughs) It's crazy. Crazy. It's just like this is the aisle that I came in and was like, oh my God. Yeah, when you're looking and you're seeing floor to ceiling. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't even know where to fart begin. The game, uh, okay. She went right for the party games. But look at all the hobby games. Those were like hard to get in Canada before. Like when I first got in the hobby, I would only grab hobby games when I was at Gen Con, like for my daughter or, you know, family and stuff. Cause it was, it was hard to find. So I'd always grab one when I went, but now like there's stores up here that carry it more often. Um, but this store has like literally like, looks like a hundred different hobby games plus kids games and stuff. Velko has a funny comment says, man, I would need 5,000 and three days to spend in here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I was like, I don't know if I have enough battery to stream just walking and looking at every shelf. Like, but I just want to show you guys this store and like why I wanted to drive out here and check it out on stream, like to show you. It's hey. like, it blew my mind when I came in here a few months back and was like, oh man, I need to visit that store again in the future. And uh, thanks for the Hadrian's Wall recommendation. It just gave me an excuse to do it again. And I do appreciate the, the owner of the store letting, letting us film in here, so. Or stream, I guess, too, yeah. Filming, streaming, whatever. Oh, Tara says, who's the owner? I want to marry them. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm not sure their uh, um, well, status. Well, I know one of their names starts with J, and I'm assuming the other one starts with a J. Um, but we, we just spoke with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both, I don't know. So yeah, look at all the expansions like hidden in glass here. So there's like expansions for Shadows of Brimstone. Like most most gaming stores I know of, uh, locally to us, will carry just like the base game of stuff. They don't usually carry many expansions of things, especially like more hardcore products. Uh, but we have like expansions for Elder Sign. Like those, I remember when we were playing that game on the channel, people recommending expansions. I went online and like so much stuff was out of print, out of stock, I couldn't find it at my usual stores. But uh, here they have it all, and for some reason it's locked behind glass. And I'm assuming it's because some of the things behind here are probably worth money. Yeah, maybe they're rare. Well, not those things, I don't think. But maybe. No, it's not. Yeah, some of these cards and stuff. But yeah, probably. maybe. There's like little, little knickknacks and things, tokens of many things. I don't know. There's just like random stuff in here. Oh, maybe crokinole boards. Maybe they're, they're expensive or something. I don't know. Or maybe there's just like an old display that's been in the store forever. Maybe they used to put their magic cards in there or something. Then we got all the chess and parlor games. Liar's Dice. Ramoli. No stress chess. Uh, is that a thing? <laughs> Does it come with like a, you know, a bottle of Crown Royal or something? Just relax. Sip on this drink while you play this chess set. Velko says, can we have a slow tour of the sci-fi? Um, oh, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll I'm get there. purposely it's on the other delaying. Side of the 
I'm purposely showing stuff that I don't even care about, really, to, like, build suspense. Oh, they have a Jurassic Park chess set. Oh, they have the Queen's Gambit one as well. Queen's Gambit? Netflix? Super Mario chess? You know? Oh, look at this classic bingo. <laughs> look at these. These are nice boxes. Yeah, that's cool. Shelf. <laughs> we, don't, <laughs> we don't have any space on our shelves now, so... But on a normal person shelf, maybe. Oh. Hold on, I found something. If those those that paint minis want to paint no your way. Harry Potter chess set, you can definitely do that. No way. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some glare. Can you stand it up straighter? Yep. There you go. The lights. That's awesome. You can paint those minis. That's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Well, you need to keep them black and white, right? I mean, you can just paint the bases. Okay, true. Okay. And then uh, what I really came for... Uh, my, my Halloween costumes. So, spoiler, this is what we're going to be wearing on stream at Halloween. I'm going to be a cowgirl and Mel will be the ninja. Oh, you can be a cowboy. Oh, cowboy. Well, I don't know. There's something I want to tell you. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. All right. <laughs> oh, Cassie says, oh my God, I have two of those chess sets. No way. Do you have them painted? Two? Why do you have two for? <laughs> hey, one, we don't judge. One that people play with and one that you spent so many hours painting that you're like, nobody can touch this. <laughs> Oh, those are the final girl minis. That those are like, so tiny. They're like, remind me of the Destiny. Yeah, but they need to be tiny to fit on the tiny little board. But I, th yeah, they remind me of Destiny. That's why I didn't want to get them because then it's like you have to paint those tiny minis. And I feel like they like don't add much in my opinion. But uh, they are cool. There's all the final girl expansions. Under Falling Skies. Friday. Oh, this is like the solo. Yeah, this is solo probably, right? Yeah, it doesn't say specifically. Yeah, but... it doesn't say, but it's right beside the two player. So there's the two player. I don't know if you see that. Yeah, you can see that, right? Two player section right here. So I see like Fog of Love and Patchwork and Lost Cities and <laughs> Seven Wonders Duels. I'm assuming this next shelf right beside it is the singlish player stuff, maybe some of it. I don't know. But yeah, solo only. I know, obviously, Final Girl solo only. Under Falling Skies solo only. Friday solo only. Reckless and Run. That's one of those solo hero series from Renegade Games. I don't, I don't know about that one. I remember there's like that Gladiator one that came out first, but I never played it. It was sold out at Gen Con when I was going to grab it that one year. Didn't you stream Under Falling Skies? Cassie says, yes, I did. "Ooh, Under Falling Skies." Hopefully, one day Rob will stream that. I think I Rob did. did. It, yeah. And then I, I told everyone if we could get to a certain amount of likes by the end of, like, the month or something on that video, I'll play the campaign. But then we didn't reach it in time. We eventually reached it, but I'll still probably go back to it in the future at some point. But there's just so many other games that haven't had any streams on the channel that I want to play. Oh, man. One of the best two-player games ever. Right there. One of the best two-player games ever, in my opinion, which doesn't mean very much. But, uh, I mean, I'm sure some of these people value Watergate. that opinion. Yeah, Watergate, I know, is a really good two-player game. That's been on our wish list for a while. We just never jumped on it, but I will see it on sale on Amazon and stuff. But yeah, I've heard of Lost Cities. People love that for two-player. Seven Wonders Duel, we've played that before. I don't know if we streamed it, but we definitely played it, right? Seven Wonders Duel. Do you know if we streamed that game, or did we, we just play no, it? No, we streamed it. We streamed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my memory is not the greatest. Jaipur. Very regarded two-player game, Splendor Duel. I, I don't know anything about that. I know Splendor's good. Fog of Love have one of the cool booths at Gen Con every year. It's like balloons and stuff. Oh, Caverna, Agricola. Those are like that's a two-player Caverna, right? Cave versus Cave, sure. To Loretto, Yido. And then, like, it just keeps going up to the ceiling. Okay, now it's the co op section. But then there's also, which I just learned, there is some sale stuff mixed in some of these areas. So, up here, looks like we have some sale games. Nothing's really catching my eye from those. Yeah, I know. It's probably just older stuff that, like, I, yeah, I've never heard of any of it, but. I mean, there are some people out here who maybe played these games a while back, but 
that's the problem with our hobby, right? Like new games are what's coming out so often that so many games get forgotten and just dumped and some aren't the best either, obviously. So like there's always people with the internet now can easily just go find out like what are the best games in a category? And if you're not that game, you just kind of get forgotten. Tales from the Loops, Bill, Robinson Crusoe. I do need to stream some more of that in my future, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we get asked about that one all the time, which I have streamed on the channel, but not a lot. But I did have to try it, so I can say I've played it, and I know of it. These also interest me in going back and streaming them on the I channel. Know, I know, but we have so much backlog, but yeah, yeah. one day, maybe. Yeah, one day. Because uh, we played no, these off stream. Yeah. Season well, we, one and Yeah, one two. and two we played off stream. But uh, Zero, we played on stream, yeah. the whole thing. Oh, here's some more Ravensburger, um, Funko slash uh, Prospero Hall games. So we've got Fast and the Furious, Horrified American Monsters, regular Horrified, which we've streamed on the channel many times. One of my favorite family co-op games. Back to the Future, Flashpoint, good co-op game. X-Men Mutant Insurrection, which I probably will never play, but I love X-Men, but it just doesn't look that great. Uh, I already have Elder Sign, which I'd just rather play. Legacy of Dragonholt, Lost Ones, Forbidden Sky. Look at all this stuff, man. Robin Hood. And it's like all packed. There's like no empty spaces anywhere. And they're busy. We've been here on a weekend before, and it is busy. Like we were told if we want to film with some silence, don't come here on a weekend, like on a Saturday, because it's kind of crazy. And we try to come here earlier on the Friday to kind of miss the later rush. It's open to like 8, right? So I'm sure in the evening people come in to grab games that they want to play for the weekend and stuff. Or even that night. <clears throat> then we have a horror section. Oh, man, this is crazy. Oh, this is where I love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sale is the whole that whole shelf. Oh, the whole upper shelf. Okay, yeah. nice. So there's a whole bunch of sale stuff that goes all the way across. And they all have their prices marked down, what they were, what they are. That's kind of neat. I like that. I like how it's up front. You don't have to, like, pull the game off to look for a price sticker. You can just see it. There's Massive Darkness. Yes, so fun. The Thing. Letters from Whitechapel. Nemesis. Oh, here's what some of the channel love to see. I don't know. I've never heard of this game. What is this one? <laughs> Arkham Horror. The card game? Never heard of it. Is it any good? Oh, and this one too. I've never heard of Lord... What's this? Lord of the Rings? I don't know. Never heard of it. Maybe it's good. I gotta try it out sometime. Oh, Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth? Hmm, that seems cool. Maybe we should stream a campaign of that later in the year. Unfathomable. We streamed that on the channel. Ah, uh, that was a great game, in my opinion. Bloodborne. That's a lot of boxes. It's a Steam on Kickstarter, so instantly I keep moving on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dark Souls the board game. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to the channel. We've streamed that game a lot, but uh, I think I'm going to stream more of it soon. Assuming other games don't show up before I get to do that. The Road to Innsmouth. Can you pull that off? Yeah. I'm sure I pre-ordered that. Yes, I did. But it's uh, being held up by oh. something else that's not in stock. Yes, I remember this. So this is an interactive... Uh, online adventure for Arkham Horror, kind of like a lighter game with like an app or something. I'm just going to flip the back. It's, might not be great, but because it's Arkham Horror, I want to play it. So I put it on an order with another game that I'm, I should be shipping soon. Um, but that like Fancy Flight like, didn't even really talk about that game at all. No one really talked about that game. No, I think it's just more chatter from fans. Yeah, it's weird. They just, just kind of released it and didn't spend any marketing on it. Well, but, I'm excited uh, for it. It's probably not that great. That's why they're just like, let's get it out there and see if the people who like that Arkham Horror logo on a box will buy it. There's more uh, Shadows of Brimstone. Yeah, all the way to the floor, man. Board games, all the way to the floor. Aeon's End, Castle Panic. Crazy. All right. Yeah, we're literally, like, starting from the back, we're, like, 20-ish percent through the aisle. Like, this aisle just goes on forever and ever and ever. But here's like the war games. I know people recommend these sometimes on the channel. Come in and like, Rob, you need to play GMT games. Yep, they have them. A whole bunch. And I'm scared. So I'm not playing any of them right now. The coin the coin system games. I remember people explaining that to me before. Ca what is it? Counterinsurgency, right? 
coin. And we have the GMT, more GMT games. We have a game called War Chests, Blitzkrieg. Like, like I'm just showing you guys, like all, all the games. Like, look at they have all the Undaunted stuff, all of it in stock. Star Wars Rebellion. Oh my God, that game's awesome. War of the Ring. Love both of those games. And we've got some Risk games hidden in here, the ones with IPs like uh, Game of Thrones and. I guess that's it. All the others aren't IPs. Memoir 44. I do want to stream that one time. I'm just getting some buffering. You guys oh, can go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not crazy. What else we got here? This looks like more family-ish weight games. Especially this super family weight game. <laughs> X-Men United. Look at all this stuff, man. G.I. Joe, the deck building game. Yeah, we've streamed that on the channel. Transformers, the deck building game. Streamed that on the channel. So many games. So many games. It's like out of every 100 games I look at, like we've played one of them. This is why when people are like, Rob, tell me your favorite games. I'm like, dude, like, I I've never, I haven't even scratched the surface of the hobby. Like, it's insane insane i mean that's not a bad thing like look at the variety there's something out there for everyone it's nuts it's nuts like our hobby is crazy yeah but like this is a store like if this is your local store and you're like 10 minutes away or less you know like instead of like looking online and trying to search for like all the different stores trying to find a single game like you 100 percent can come here and you'll find something you know yep we're just cool uh, can you grab this one for me, Mel? I don't want it to disappear. I need yes. To, need oh, to... this is heavier than I would Chelsea, have anticipated. Chelsea, can you carry that if you're done your thing? I can hold it. I can hold it. It's All just right. heavier than... Or we just than... put it up at the front counter and tell no, them to hold it for it. us. It's just heavier than... I don't know why. Yeah, like, you look for... at this box and, yeah, yeah. and you think, like, oh, this is going to be light, but this is quite heavy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, al I almost forgot to grab that. Imagine it sold before we left, but I'm sure they have other ones somewhere up, uh, up, in, up in the heavens. Maybe. Oh, look how many more murder mystery games. There's a whole oh, wow. bunch all the way to the ceiling, like 20 of them piled on each other. So yeah, they probably have more Hadrian's Wall hidden up in the yeah, there, in the it, attic somewhere. It doesn't always go. Because if you can see up there, I don't know if you can because of the lighting, but above the lighting is a whole other little kind of like crawl space. And they have even more product hidden up there in boxes and stuff. Like that's crazy. I'm sure they all have stilts, uh, the employees here, and they can like pogo themselves or like stilt walk yeah. uh, to grab everything on the top shelves. I'm sure that's how they do it. Here's all the small box games. These, are, these kind of games are really cool if you are traveling and you just need to Chelsea, throw a game in your there's pocket. There's the one. I think this is the one you're looking for. Sorry. Uh, fast, flatulent, fun. Uh, fart, the explosive card game. That seems serious stuff. <laughs> I'm sure it's an epic four hour game with a campaign for sure. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Look out games, board and dice. More Euro stuff. Crazy. Old guy project. We played that on the channel. Then we have the fantasy version, Terra Mystica. I know they're not exactly the same, but you know, from the same series, I would say. Yeah, this is nuts. Killer bunnies. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but. Tara, when you say that needs to be streamed, are you talking about the Which fart one? card game? I think oh. she's talking about the fart game. Yeah, yeah, there's a delay, of course. Yeah. Streaming remotely over a mobile connection, I'm sure there's like a 20 to 30 second delay. What are you so saying that we play slow. we play silly games on the channel? What are you talking about? Listen. <laughs> Remember that time we played Point Salad? Uh, it's it, not, it was literally a Point Salad game. It's definitely not recorded anymore. So I uh, know. Thanks YouTube I mean, for losing that one. Oh yeah, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what kind of game it is. Let's see. Does it have the designer's name on it? Um. <laughs> on the back, probably. <laughs> Outset games. Easy to learn and a gas to play. Fart is wild hilarity. Race to play your fart cards while avoiding obvious hazards. Maybe now is a good time to use your gas mask. Oh, <laughs> well, that's funny. 
Doesn't say how many players. Oh, three plus players. That's three plus. There's oh. a play with Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. We've gone from this epic campaign we'll have to game. See if he is interested. Yeah. Some flux games. Matthew says, I need to rewatch this. Work is too distracting to see all of this. Sorry, Matthew, we're interrupting your work day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get back to work, slacker. <laughs> all right, let's go up and over. All right, there's the Azuls. Splendors, Sagradas. Rallyman GT. Janet, thank you so much. Janet has a super chat there. Thanks for the super gas chat, Gas money for your trip. Janet, thank you, thank you, uh -huh. thank you. You are too sweet. Or maybe for more board games. <laughs> yeah. I don't know I if mean... we'll have money for gas to get home, Janet. I'm sorry. We might misspend that money. So once once we're off, uh, we're definitely running around probably grabbing some stuff. Days of Wonder stuff. All the ticket to rides. You want to see the ticket, ticket to Ride Legacy announcement? Oh, yeah. You just posted that the other day, didn't yeah, you, yeah. in the Discord? I didn't look into it problem is it's competitive, right? Like, Ticket to Ride is, of course. I mean, it's fine, but I just, you want to play competitive that, like, 10, uh, yeah, 12 times. Yeah, I don't know. But there's Charger Stone, too, right? A competitive uh, worker placement legacy game. It's not about competitive legacy, like... I know, it seems strange, but... Even, even when we played Clank, right? You could play that legacy competitive, but you can also kind of play cooperative, too, which we kind of leaned into later in the play. There's all the Stonemeyer game stuff. Oh, speaking of small box games, here's this uh, little one called Glomhaven. Gloomhaven, I think. Jaws of the Lion, which is uh, my travel pocket size edition Gloomhaven. <laughs> Yeah, Velco, I saw that announcement. Uh, I personally don't care, but it's cool that they're like improving Gloomhaven, doing a second edition. Um, but it just sucks they're slamming it on a Kickstarter with the minis and the RPG just to kind of bloat the sales and, you know, definitely trying to help make Backer Kid, uh, you know, hit the news with like record, you know, record Kickstarter. But the fact that they're like three new products, quote unquote, on the same Kickstarter is kind of like, kind of shady way to try to set a record. To say it's like probably the biggest crowdfunding campaign tabletop gaming ever, you know, like they did with Frosthaven. But yeah, I wonder if they're gonna announce other stuff uh, to throw on that Kickstarter that's not related or whatever. But I wonder if the interest in the minis or the RPG are like low, and that's why they're like, all right, we need to add something else on here to get people to actually look at this campaign. I mean, 600 minis is a lot. Like, how many people? Yeah, and for are interested in that? and for games you may have already played, but for anyone who's new new to the hobby to like, who eventually works their way up to Gloomhaven. But even so, with the massive setup in that game, yeah, I know, having to I then know, know. set up all those minis too. I just hope they add the rebalance stuff from Gloomhaven Second Edition. They add it in the digital version. Oh, Velco, this is kind of what you wanted to see, right? Some of the yeah. sci-fi fantasy is is like over here. Well, hold on, where are we? We're we're in oh, we're uh, Euro, in Euro still. Never we're mind. still in Euro. We're so, getting like, there though. A lot of games that we've played uh, on the channel in the past, like the Root games. I love Root. I know Vast is good. He's uh -oh. asking if we need help. What? He's asking if we need help. Oh, no, no. We got the uh, Garfield games. Oh, Hadrian's Wall was like not with these though. But that's like with, probably was with the Roll and Write stuff, right? Uh, it was with yeah, the yeah. war, wasn't it? I don't know what it was with. I don't know. With the war? But yeah, here's all like the, uh, you know, the North Sea stuff. Then the uh, West Kingdom stuff. It's Raiders of Scythia. Got all the unmatched games, which I've not played, but I don't know if they're for me, but. So, sorry, Mark, who has been a member of the channel for eight months. Thank you, Mark, Thanks, Mark. for the super chat here says, uh, biggest inventory of any store close to me is only about half of one of those aisles, LOL. Yeah, that, <laughs> Mark, that's like 99% of the stores are like that for us yep. too. That's why we figured it was a special thing to come here and like stream from here. Because it's like crazy. It's like it unique, just, yeah, right? it blew my mind. It's like, I didn't know this was a thing. And we've been to stores that have like a good big selection and like beautiful play spaces and some retail area. Um, but never this many games, like this much stock, like 
plus toys, plus Lego, plus miniatures, plus painting supplies. Like, oh yeah, we haven't even got to costumes, some of crafting. Uh, it's like a, a comics, like all the CCGs and stuff. Like, look at all the big games on the bottom there. Escape, Big Box, Carcassonne, Catan, Eclipse, Dominion, Bard Sung, Twilight Imperium, Fourth Edition, plus the expansions for it. Yeah, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, so here's here's like the Clanks, Destinies. These are games I recommend, re recognize. Gray Fox game stuff. Here's the sci-fi like Dune. Look at all the Dune games. <laughs> Look at all the Dune games. Small World and not such small boxes. Dice Forge. Oh, this is where we bought Harry Potter uh, yes. Hogwarts Battle. Yes, it is. You're right. I remember that now. Yes. Guys, this is where we ended up buying Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. You guys recommended it to us so, so much over the like four years straight. And this was a store we were standing in where like it was actually in stock. Because we were trying to get it online and we couldn't find any stores that had it in print. But then we st when we stopped by here, that was one of the games that like we're like, all right, we just want to check the store out. And then we were like, yeah, we started buying a bunch of games. That was one of them. So yeah, it, like you can always find stuff here, which is crazy. Like, look at all these, these Dungeons and Dragons games, these board games. People always recommend to play them. They're like, Rob, you need to play those. They're like, they're okay. They're fun little dungeon crawlers and stuff. But then I look online at all my local stores or the stores I buy online from and stuff. And I can never find them in stock. And here they are just sitting here in this store, like fully stocked. Like, I don't even know if those are in print anymore. So yeah, if you're, if you're looking for those, they're here and you can, you can go to the website online. It's in the video description. If like you are really looking for one of these that's out of print, I don't know, maybe they're in print again. I don't know, but I remember like a year or two ago, I went looking for them and I couldn't find them. There's Descent. Yeah. Should be playing the next one soon, hopefully. Oh, can't wait for that. Mage Knight Ultimate Edition. There's the, oh yeah, they're like reprinting or redoing this one, right? The Circadians or however it's called. That like Garfield game. King's Dilemma. I remember I was looking for that for a while and it was not in stock and I couldn't find it. Now I kind of don't care about it anymore. Oh, there's Anachrony. Just played that recently on the channel in the Fractures of Time expansion. I need to play more of that. Hero Quest. Summoner Wars. Mark says I bought all the D&D games and I played them all. They're okay, low difficulty games. I don't, I can't see it, there's something on the screen. I, I, oh, I donated them to my FLGS so others can enjoy them at the store. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, is this new heart interaction thing new? I don't know what that I'm is. I'm watching it I'm as pressing people it. are doing I'm pressing it. it. I don't know, I've never seen that Oh, it's before. just like emojis and stuff. Yeah, but then they start flying up the screen and Let me chat. see, I'm pushing these buttons. Watch, and then it'll start showing up. Oh yeah, what the heck is this? Oh look, I'm sending emojis flying on the screen. Yeah, I, I've never seen that that's before. That's weird. 100%. I don't usually watch from my phone, but... That's like a Facebook Live thing, right? I don't know. I feel like it's something I think Facebook new. Live <laughs> has done that for years. All right, let's go on the other side just a little bit. Sorry, guys. Nope, sorry. <laughs> so we have a section for the classics. Classics. And we have, like, Stratego, Jenga, like, you know, the mass market, like, Hungry Hungry Hippos and... Labyrinth. Labyrinth, we played one of those before. It was actually a decent game. They have all the theme ones. All the clues. Basically all the games that I don't play on the channel. <laughs> and then educational. And I think we're pretty much wrapped around to like the kids, the card, the yeah, word, the party. I think we started at like Haba-ish. Yeah. But this is like, so, so the other half of the aisle is basically all like family games, classic games, mass market games, Haba games. Check if they have Monopoly. I, I showed um, earlier they have I like 4,000 different versions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all the spotted games. Oh, you can buy Monopoly money. Just in case you run out. So, no, no, it's for the cheaters. So you can have it hidden under the table. When no one's looking, you pull some extra money out and you just add it to your uh -huh, pile, right? That makes sense. That That's makes what sense. it's for. It's not for when the dog eats your Monopoly money. It's for when you want to, you play in the cheat earlier in the day, right? Oh, 
Oh, Deception Murder in Hong Kong. I played that before. That's a cool game. I like that a lot. I did not know they had expansion for it, though. Game of Thrones of Trivia. Okay, here's all the trivia, like party games. I know I'm not showing every shelf, guys. It's like getting a little busier. We'll wrap the stream up in a minute. But I just wanted to get to this section right here. Okay. I don't know what they consider that. I don't know if this is part of that section. Like, it, is, is a Chronicles of Crime considered party or 18 plus? <laughs> maybe because of crime? Uh, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Oh, which is these ones? I know, I'm just joking. I'll get there. <laughs> Crimes and capers. Oh, I see. We're getting there. Oh, my daughter's telling me about a Netflix Stranger Things Attack of the Mind Flare game, which I did look into. It's not that great. Oh, okay. There's a better one by Simon coming out. Yeah, oh. I said that, Simon. Yep. Or it's already out in in the U.S. Not out in Canada yet. We're waiting. Beer IQ. Oh, I guess anything that has... Guys, don't forget to comment down below, everybody. <laughs> oh, and like this. Like, don't forget to like the stream. If you like these kind of videos. <laughs> The party game that might get you unfriended. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nine to five. Ew. Judge your friends. Mad Libs. Drinking Quest. What is this? <laughs> Cards Against Humanity, the nerd bundle. That's a thing. Dirty Minds. Yeah, I don't know what all this stuff is. It's not really... What do you mean? But yeah, that's that's it in this aisle. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's wrap around this other one back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did all this stuff. So they have like models, uh, model cars and buildings and things for that hobby, which I'm not a part of. They have some horse collectible stuff. Now here's like family stuff. It's like crayons and, but, but like look at the games. They go to the ceiling. Oh, there's brass. Yeah, this is all just like toys and more family stuff. But again, above that is all more board games. More board game storage. Look at all the Seven Wonders stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, the store is definitely getting busier, so we'll, we'll wrap it up. But uh, let's take you guys over the painting stuff. Yeah, let's go take a look. I want to see. Yeah, we just have to check. Yeah, there's like coloring books and toys and things and like little miniature models and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, here's stuff we know. Mel's probably going to spend some time here after stream looking for those colors she's missing. Yeah, I have some lists. Oh, look at all the paints. Paints, paints, paints. They have all like the miniature war games. We got X Wing, Marvel Crisis Protocol, some D and D minis. Just gonna walk through this fast because it's not really, not really our thing, but it's definitely a full aisle of it. Like just like you guys saw for the board games, they have all the same stuff for like Warhammer, and then RPGs. So I just want to show something I found. What did you find? I have. This pre-ordered from an, somewhere, so hopefully I will be getting mine oh, soon. Now. Yeah, yeah, the Speed Paint Metallic set. Two, I am two point two point oh. I am so excited for these. Like I cannot wait. Yeah, I cannot yeah. wait to stream using yeah. these and see how they work. Did you see like the three hundred paint like mega set or oh, something? Oh, I didn't look. Not I didn't look if like, it was there, but it's like three hundred dollars, like ninety something wait. paints. Crazy. There's like RPG books, I'm assuming, or no, maybe not. No, this is like wargaming books. 
Oh, even more board games hidden up here in the back. Pandemics, Jaipers, all hidden up there. Warhammer stuff up there above the light. Yeah, that's crazy. Like the wargaming stuff's nuts too. I don't know if they have the one that's 300. Oh, look at all the paintbrushes. Yeah, it's all just paintbrushes in there. Guys, what's your favorite size paintbrush? <laughs> or brand. Or you brand. White, white I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if brand matters, but I love the... Army Painter, Citadel, White Taclon. I don't know. Hmm. That's crazy. Oh, there's the RPG stuff back there. I think, yeah. Look at that. It's crazy. Crazy. Oh, like the D and D sets. I got sports cards and stuff too. Oh, magic cards. Oh man, crazy. Yeah. So. Got all the dragon shields. So they do have this one. What do they got? I Put it on the counter. Yeah. Oh my god. Like. Look at this. I would love to purchase this Speed eventually. Paint. Mega set 2.0. 200 Canadian dollars. I don't know how many paints. Put it in the back. Oh, it might say. 50 colors. Oh, 50 that's not colors. the full set. There's like a bigger box. Yeah, that's I think 349 yeah, that's, or that's something. That's crazy. Comes they, with oh, the they have some metallics in there. Yeah, this is how I think I initially saw it. But, yeah, so oh. if you ever used up most of your speed paints, then we would maybe go looking at something like this. But the fact you already had like one of the main, like two of the starter sets, yeah. you just kind of like add at this point, right? Yeah. And then we have more magic. Like, look at all the CCG and sports card stuff. Deck boxes, binders, all the game genic stuff. I love game genic stuff. So premium. So premium. Oh, they do have Keyforge. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, and then they have like their. They have like uh, first and second set Keyforge stuff. Probably not those sets I'm looking for. Flesh and Blood. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at the, look at the D&D dice. Yeah, like those, like, you know, like in the metal tins, like we all see at Gen Con, like full booths dedicated to selling, like, premium RPG dice. Yep. They have some of that stuff here. Oh, sorry, I just want to ask. Janet says, I got, oh. I got that set. Sorry, Janet, did you get the metallic set, or did you get the... Like a 2.0 um, set? 2.0 big set. Got some Pokemans. Got the Pokemons. Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. You have big ones like that? Oh, we gotta get the Baby Yoda eating like a, what's that, a Reese's cup? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, decks of cards. All the theme decks of cards. Oh, Janet got the big 2.0 set. Oh, God. Nice, Janet. No way. I'm so excited for you. Like the one that has like 90 paints in it or something crazy. Psycho. That's cool. Uh oh. I mean. Uh oh. Oh, we may have a problem. I mean, yeah, maybe this is where Janet's <laughs> yeah. donation went yeah, to yeah. instead. Whoops. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Janet. Instead of gas home uh, with your donation, Mel bought some candy and fudge. And, oh, Janet uh, got the 50 paints. Oh, the 50 yeah, paints. Yeah, Janet, okay. I think the 90 is too expensive. I agree as well. Yeah, because it goes add, add the color like one offs as you need them, right? Like because you buy those paints. <laughs> yeah, we walked right by this. Look at all the sleeves. Yeah, we walked right by it because people were coming by this. Yeah, yeah, sleeves. I need to probably grab some of those too, which I did last time I was here, I remember now. Like deck boxes and stuff, like Game Genic sleeves. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Anyways, uh, I guess we can probably just go outside and wrap well, it up. Well, let me. We'll come back. We'll come back. Can I put this here for a minute? We're just going to do our outro and then oh, we'll yeah, come yeah. back in and pay. Yeah, put that with yours. <laughs> and then we'll go. All right. And that one too. There you go. That's the sort tour. The best I can do. Uh, but the battery's almost gone on the camera. I could plug it in, but. Let me see if I can flip it. There we go. All right. But yeah, there you go. That's uh, J&J's Cards and Collectibles in Waterloo, Ontario. Uh, again, home of the uh, BlackBerry uh, mobile device. RIM, uh, if anyone remembers, rest in peace. 
Oh. <laughs> But Don't I'll, worry, I didn't steal the game. He's holding it at the front yeah, counter. Yeah, yeah, we I've, put it at the front counter, right? Let's go here so we're out of the way. We got the inside inside uh, connection where <laughs> yeah, we, we can just drop stuff off and they'll hold it. <laughs> we and just logged out. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, idiot with the camera. We'll, we'll hold your game for you. <laughs> I think we do have to take a, a another little tour around, make sure there wasn't anything that we yes. missed that we want to purchase. So, yes. So, even though we brought you guys shopping with us, like, it is very overwhelming in there. So, what I'm going to do now is go back in probably for another 20 minutes or so. Uh, I did see some things I might want to look at, uh, but I also have to look at my like lit wish list uh, that I've, I have of other games that I might be wanting to grab, see if they're here. Some of the games in there that I saw, they, they triggered a memory that like, oh, someone mentioned that before, or we looked at that before, or maybe I saw that eight years ago at Gen Con, but I haven't been able to find it since. I'm going to go back in there and maybe look up some things on BGG while I'm shopping in there. Um, but we'll do it without holding a camera because like I literally have a phone in one hand and the camera in the other So I literally can't pick up a single thing while I'm in there And that's one of the beauties about actually buying games physically in person that I love that like nostalgic feel of picking up a game and like the art the graphic design the marketing on the back of the box all that stuff somebody spends lots of time on lots of effort and costs money and You lose some of that when you're like buying games online I know you can see the box and you know on your screen at home, but it's just fun picking up a box like how many times have we been at a store and I'm like, oh, there's that game somebody said to pick up. It looks like kind of a small game. You pick it up and the box weighs like 10 pounds, but it's like a tiny box. Yeah. And, and you're like, whoa, what is in this game? But I never would have done that if I was just browsing games online, like actually picking up and physically looking at and touching and reading about games and stuff. Uh, I love doing. Um, so it's very nostalgic and this store like you can find everything in there And I'm sure there were games that I just whizzed right by that were down by my feet that I didn't notice or games up in the ceiling that I was like Oh, it is here. So yes, I could have looked online and checked their stock before coming, but I didn't um, I just knew they had Hadrian's wall. So I want to grab that. I don't know if we'll get anything else, but we might so uh, But that's JJ's and cards and collectibles uh, Thank you everyone for hanging out with us during that stream as we walk through the store But I just want to show you guys because I know stores like this are not everywhere. Like they're not around where we are. Like I said, we had to travel like an hour and a half to get here. Uh, this is Justin's former local game store that he told us about a long time ago. Uh, we've only been here one time in the past, but like it was mind blowing to see how many board games and like some, some tabletop gaming stores you go into, it's like a lot of comics, a lot of Magic the Gathering and stuff. And like the smallest little board game section yeah. that like has no games that have been released like in the last two years. This game, is, this place is constantly like getting all the newest games all the time. The oldest games, the like anything, it's like all here, it's crazy. So it's very like mind blowing, check them out. The website's in the video description. Uh, you can check them out on Instagram or Facebook uh, to get more information. Again, they ship to the US, they ship to anywhere in Canada. So you might be able to, some of the games in there, like I said, you might not have seen at a local game store or on Amazon in a long time, because they've been out of print. But since they stock like every single game that's ever come out here, there might be a copy of a game you're looking for that is actually still available and you might be able to grab the last one uh, and get it. Yeah, you'll have to pay the shipping and everything, but like anyone who knows, like sometimes the eBay prices and secondhand prices of games are a little crazy for out of print games, but you may be able to find them here, maybe at MSRP and stuff and just pay some shipping to get them. Um, so anyways, check them out. Super nice people that work there. Very helpful, very friendly so far from what we've seen the couple times we've been here, but just a selection blew my mind. And of course the Blue Castle uh, you can't miss it if you're driving by. It's a giant blue castle. J&J uh, &J Cards and Collectibles. Uh, is that anything else? Anybody else? Uh, no, we're good. All right. Thank you all for watching. We're going to get out of here. And we'll see you tomorrow in some Frosthaven streaming. Uh, if you're looking for tabletop gaming playthroughs, if you found the channel through this video, we mainly play uh, like medium to heavyweight campaign, fantasy, Euro, board games. Uh, you know, we're pretty deep in the hobby. But if you want to look for some long-form playthroughs, some campaigns, legacy games, one-offs, whatever, multiplayer, co-op, solo, all that stuff we do on the channel. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, Mel, anything left to say? I don't know. No, just thank you to J&J Cards and Collectibles for letting us film in here. Yeah, thank you absolutely. guys for following us along on this shopping trip. It was a lot of fun. Um, so that's all I have. All right, if you want to see more streams like this or videos like this from local game stores or game stores that we visit when we're traveling to conventions and stuff, hit the like button, let us know, comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, any feedback, how to improve it. Because um, I'm interested in doing more videos like this. Yeah, we don't do a lot of videos like this, but they're fun. Yeah, they are fun and it's interesting to break out and get away from the basement streaming board games. Uh, actually like, you know, doing something different. Yeah. So if you're interested in stuff like this, we'll try to do this stuff in the future, but we'll see, we'll see how the reception is. But yeah, hit the like button, comment down below, let us know what you think, any feedback, it's super helpful. But I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.